highlighting the struggles of African Americans during the civil rights movement. After being beaten, hosed down, and thrown in jail, a Savannah man is living proof that standing up for what you believe in can make a difference. WJCL's Tiffany Green joins us now to share the story of Earl Coleman, who put his life on the line so others could gain more freedom. Coleman was only nine years old when he saw his father get killed. As the oldest of six siblings, he had a duty to provide for his family, and with that responsibility, Earl faced many injustices. That's what led him to fight for his civil rights. You can tell those silly bonds. Everybody said, yeah, don't throw away the key. If he let us out of here, he won't have to worry about us. That's one of the songs Earl Coleman sang about the police chief while he was in jail. Coleman was behind bars for 63 days after taking part in a march along Broaden Street. He says police and National Guardsmen met them with batons and hoses, subjecting them to awful conditions. I got a scar right here, right now, in um, 63, where uh, one of the officers struck me and then blood was just skeeting everywhere and knocked me down and they picked me up and they threw me in the paddy wagon. Coleman says instead of being taken to the hospital, they took everyone to jail. At times he says there were 10 people in a cell, but only one toilet and they barely ate. They fed us uh, three little cups of water, cups of water like this that morning and three slices of bread. So we got that three times a day for months. That's all we had. Coleman hoped to get out, but instead the guardsmen blamed he and his cellmates for burning down a local store, a store that caught fire while they were in jail. One of the, the guards came in and said that um, y'all gonna stay in here a little longer because y'all just burnt down Yakum and Yakum. Now, we was already in jail, but they say that we just went down Yakum and Yakum. Coleman says the one thing that kept him going while he was locked up was hearing from a special someone. I met this young lady. She, she's my wife now. For, we've been together for 46 years. And while I was in there, she was my, my son were born while I was in there. And um, she would write me lip, um, write me on letters. He says her letters were filled with how much she missed him and assured him that their son was okay. After two months and three days, Coleman was released from prison. As he reflects on his struggle, Coleman says he wants the people of today to realize the sacrifice he made for equality. And maybe if they look back and see what we went through back then, maybe they appreciate what's going on now. What an amazing story. Join us tomorrow for the final part of our series as we tell you the story of Reverend James E. Taylor, one of the first African Americans to integrate Savannah Chatham Public Schools. Our station is teaming up with the Ralph Mark Gilbert Museum and Savannah State University to tell and record the personal stories of those who are part of the civil rights movement. Now, if you have a story you'd like to share, you can call the museum at 231-8900 to set up an appointment to have your history recorded. Very powerful story. Mm -hmm. Powerful man. Big Frank's here now and uh, one of Georgia Southern's heroes. And another good Sunday morning to you. Thank you so very much for joining us once again for our early morning presentation. Join the morning. We would like to thank all of you for being so faithful, getting up every Sunday morning and watching the presentation. Helen and I appreciate that so very, very much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments when we meet you in the streets, in the market, in the church place, or wherever. You're always so very positive about the presentation. And we want to take this opportunity to thank you, you, and especially you and wish for each one of you a prosperous, a health-filled, God-filled New Year. Good morning, Girl Friday. Good morning. How are you? I feel like Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Good yes. morning, Pastor Williams, Pastor Brown, and Pastor Lee. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pastor George P. Mm -hmm. Lee III. I know you didn't know who I was, but I was just yelling at the window. <laughs> It won't be long before he gets to know you, the new pastor of the St. John Baptist Church. And thank you for joining us for Joy in the Morning. We're just so happy to have as our special guest this morning, 
uh, Bishop Earl Coleman, and uh, pro, uh, we're going to hear our meditation. And usually I do our Sunday morning prayer, but when there is a minister in the house, a minister is a special guest, we kind of like relinquish the opportunity to let him do the prayer this morning. So uh, Girl Friday is going to read the inspiration, and right after the inspiration, the next voice you will hear will be that of Bishop Coleman with our Sunday morning prayer. I'm going to read a portion of, of Psalm 4, uh, beginning with the fifth verse, going through the eighth. And it says, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. Mm -hmm. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only maketh me dwell in safety. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's it. I love that. And now here's Bishop Coleman with our prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to take this opportunity to thank you. Thank you, God. You've been so good to us. You brought us in another year. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we realize that looking back over in the scripture, when you brought your children out of Egypt, and they wander around 40 years, don't let that happen to us at this time, Lord. Bring us out. Bring us out whereas we're tired of the killing going on. Bring us out of killing, Lord. Yes. Make us one. Bless our young folks, Lord. Let them know that you didn't send your son down in vain, that you sent your son to give them a chance. He is sitting on the right hand of God, making an intersection for you. He, re he realized that you done made some mistakes. But he is asking you to turn to him. Remember our creator in the days of our youth. Remember him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, thanks to Bishop Cobra for our morning prayer. Thank you, Bishop. We appreciate that very much. He is our special guest this morning. And we're going to hear more from him. Ms. Johnson has got something going on here that I think you need to hear, you need to know about. And most of all, you need to listen and see if you can participate. We really need your help. We really need your support. You know, with Mrs. Helen S. Johnson, it's all about the Ralph Mont Gilbert Civil Rights Museum. She's doing such a magnificent job and keeping the Civil Rights Museum second to none. But she needs the support of the city of Savannah, the Chatham of County, and surrounding areas. So please, ma'am, and please, sir, listen up. And once this information goes forth, if there's any way that you can be of assistance, if there's any way that it affects you, if there's any way it touches you, then please, ma'am, and please, sir, respond. And let us just celebrate all of our young people this morning. You know, even with all the things that you hear in the news concerning our young people, we still have a lot of young people that saying the right thing, doing the right thing, going the right places, getting their homework, passing their exam, mm -hmm. graduating on time. I talked to one senior the other day. She'll be finished uh, this month. She will be finished all her requirements and waiting to graduate, pass the, ex uh, uh, the exit exam uh, in the uh, 11th grade. So we have a lot. Of, we have we a have lot of lot students right there. Really too. And I think they need to be celebrated also so this morning we're celebrating all our young people going to get some inspiration up in here and we'll be right back with our Ms. helen s johnson and our special guest bishop coleman right after this morning inspiration listen be blessed 